I must have been a very bad little boy because when I was yet three years old, I was able to somehow get my parents to celebrate my fourth birthday six days early so I could just get the presents a little bit earlier. Uh, I remember that as one of my first memories. Impatience is one of those things that uh, can lead us quickly into sin when we're not patient for what God has for us. Now, impatience is a big subject and, and full of all kinds of things, but when we look at Psalm 13, uh, it's really impatient for God to bring about his good things for us. And David had to wait uh, for God to make good on his promise as to make him king over Israel. And he had to wait a long time and King Saul was after him and trying to put him away. And so all of this kind of spills out. The, the impatient longing that David has for justice, but also for good things to come. And I think we sense some of that during this season as well. We're impatient for good things to come. And it's not that impatience necessarily is the sin, but we, when we get impatient, we uh, do sometimes move into sinful action. Anyway, uh, Psalm 13 tells us, how long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and every day have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemy triumph over me? This is uh, pouring out his innermost being to the Lord and his frustration. And we can do that too and know that the Lord hears us. When we're cooking a pie, uh, we can just taste the cherries as they bake and we can smell the blackberries if you have that kind of pie or apples and is, that's a wonderful thing and when it comes out of the oven everybody is so ready to take a piece of that pie that our mouths are watering and we're just ready for all of that but good pie makers know and it says on the boxes of many pies also that you can buy at the store that it is best to let the pie cool for three hours three hours we have to wait how long how long again we use that illustration to think about how long do we have to wait in order for God to make things right sometimes we're only focused on the end result and not on the process and this is where Psalm 13 uh, helps us to remember the good times of waiting. Yes, I said the good times. Verse 3, Look on me and answer, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep in death. My enemy will say I have overcome him, and my foes will rejoice when I fail, or fall, as the case is. But then... David doesn't just stay with that. It's not just about how he's experiencing the past um, uh, longing and impatience, but or it's not about the end result only, but the process right in the midst of it, in the present time. But I trust in your unfailing love. He participates in that unfailing love through trust and hope right now. My heart rejoices in your salvation. That's a continual action right now. I will sing to the Lord, for he has been good to me. And that's how it ends. So Psalm 13 moves us from longing and impatient for things to get right, or for the second coming, or for, in David's case, to be on the throne, or maybe we have impatience with God to work in people's lives and to bring about their salvation. And we move to present trust, which results in rejoicing in God's unfailing love, his wonderful, faithful love ongoing right now, singing, remembering that God is good to us right now, and our minds and our being 
everything is focused to praising the Lord right now as a form of trusting for the future. And the pie will taste good in the end time. But it is also an aroma now for which we get to enjoy. Uh, one of uh, my friends, uh, an elderly friend from years, years, years ago, uh, was very impatient. How long? How long until my son will accept Christ Jesus? And he had been struggling with alcoholism and all kinds of afflictions and, and uh, uh, wasn't able to hold job. And she kept on praying and she kept on praying and the dear lady died praying. Years later, we heard that her son had accepted Jesus as Savior. How long, O oh Lord? Jesus had to be patient for 30 years living in Nazareth and there as a carpenter, not ready yet to uh, go into his full-time ministry uh, that, uh, and to give his life uh, and to be raised from the dead. Patience, how long uh, he expressed uh, with his disciples, uh, how long, you know, don't you get it? How long with Jerusalem? I'm ready to gather you together as a hen gathers her chicks, but you are not willing. We can be patient because the Lord is at work and his unfailing love, we can experience that right now, even uh, when we are impatient for things to get better. God bless you as you wait in hope and rejoice in his unfailing love.